trust your first impression. What are you experiencing? What do you imagine is there? It's a gray castle. Mm -hmm, a gray castle. Very stony. Mm -hmm. And I'm coming down. It's a lot like I want a ro dirt kind of road. Mm -hmm. You're on a dirt road. Mm -hmm. There's pastures on both sides. And there's hay. Mm -hmm. And tell me a, a little bit about yourself. Can you see yourself in this place? Look down at your feet. What do you see? Um, I think I just have on like these shoes, but they remind me of like pilgrim shoes. Pilgrim shoes. Describe them for me. They're, they have like a, a yellow buckle, mm -hmm. but they're kind of like socks, but pointy. Pointy socks with buckles? Yeah, mm -hmm. like a buckle, like a pilgrim. Mm -hmm. Do the buckles have any any uh, reason for being there? Or are they just decorative? <laughs> I think it's just decorative. Mm -hmm. What color are these? I think they're like burg. The sock part is burgundy, and mm -hmm. the buckle is gold. Beautiful. Dark burgundy. What else are you wearing? Look up your legs. Are you wearing anything on your legs? Yeah, I think it's. Like a stocking or like legging stockings kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What color are they? Mm, brown. They're kind of like the same color. Mm -hmm. The shoes. Mm -hmm. uh, and I have on a dress. Mm -hmm. Is this dress long or short? It's a, about knee level, a little below. Mm -hmm. And it's like a, a white um, waist apron thingy on top of the dress. Mm -hmm. mm, the dress is dark too, kind of brown. What do you look like? I have white skin mm -hmm. and red hair. And red hair. And two braids. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel there? 16. Mm -hmm. Freckles. Mm -hmm. Are you carrying anything? Look at your hands. I have a basket. Mm -hmm. Anything inside? Yeah. Um, looks like little bottles. Little bottles. Mm-hmm. Little bottles or something. Mm hmm Maybe like canned food, uh, like a preserves. Mm-hmm. Very good. Anything else that you see in this scene that's interesting? Look around you. There's horses mm -hmm. um, down the road a little bit. People are going by. What do you imagine you're doing? Where are you going? I am going into the little town area. All right. So describe this town. What does it look like? Take me with you. What do the houses look like there? I feel like I, I feel like I don't really see many houses. Mm -hmm. but, um, there are people wearing nicer clothes. Mm -hmm. Are they wearing nicer clothes than yours? Uh, some one lady was. Mm -hmm. She was going by on the horse thing with some guy. 
but um in the town it's kind of a lot going on it's kind of dirty I think it's just dirty because the floor is like like it's a dirt floor mm -hmm. so what's going on why what are people doing in this town it's a lot of fruits being sold back and forth people trading guys with like no teeth mm -hmm. or rotten teeth that seems to be a normal thing mm -hmm. what else do you see What are you doing there? I'm going to someone's house. Okay. I have to go through. I have to go through the market area in in there. And they live in the castle. Hmm. They live in the castle. Yeah, it's a side entrance. Okay. At the side entrance, a brown door, and not too far from the market. So let's see what happens after you're inside. Uh, I'm going down the hall. I'm saying hello to people. Mm -hmm. How are they dressed? Uh, some have on. They work there. Okay, so these are people who work there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They work there. They do you have. feel that you work there? Yeah. Okay. I feel like I do. Mm -hmm. um, I'm bringing this stuff to someone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what this stuff is that you're bringing in these bottles. What do you see? I went to the to a kitchen, a kitchen thing. Mm-hmm. Tell me. And I take I'm taking out the uh, little bottles and mason jar mm -hmm. looking things, and um, I have fruit preserves in the mason jars. And I'm putting them. I'm taking them out of the basket and putting them on, putting them down on, um, like a little island that's in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. It's not little; it's a big island. It's wooden top. Mm -hmm. uh, so I put it down. There's somebody else there who's kind of like waiting to see what's I guess in there. She's just there watching. Mm -hmm. How many bottles do you have, or, or preserves, or jars do you have? Feels like maybe four of, preser of preserves, and then there's other little bottles. What do you imagine is in, is in those bottles? Hot sauce. Hot sauce, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you, do you work in the kitchen? Uh, I feel like I I feel like sometimes I work there because I like to cook. Yes, but uh, I think I am somewhere else too in in the castle, mm -hmm. doing something. So let's find out what it is. That you do in that castle. What else do you do? I'd like for you to close that scene and see yourself doing what you usually do in that castle. Where are you? Well, uh, um, hmm. what do you see? I am on a horse. Mm -hmm. 
and I am we're it's going fast mm-hmm. and I'm I'm liking it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm racing. Mm-hmm. Racing comes to mind. Okay. I'm racing. What do you look like there? Still me with mm-hmm. the freckles and red hair and mm-hmm. two braids. Yes. And I am I'm racing with other children on horses through a pasture and I'm going into some trees. Let me slow down when we get to the trees. What what role do you play with these children? I feel like I look after them. Mm-hmm. So is this part of their activities? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you teach them to ride? I feel like they already knew, mm-hmm. but I think I'm playful. Okay. I watch them like a mother or like an older sister. Yeah. But I like to play. Take a look at these children. Can you see their eyes? The eyes are the window to the soul. See Mm. if you recognize any of these children as someone that you know in the life of Brianna. Hmm. I think one of the children is Brooke. Mm -hmm. Hmm. It's a little boy though. Mm-hmm. With black hair, kind of like a like a bowl cut. Mm-hmm. I think he's like he's like five or mm-hmm. six. And who do these children belong to? Hmm. What's the first thing that comes into your mind? Someone who works in the castle. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't. I feel like it's the like a somebody high up, like mm-hmm. a, a court gesture, or somebody. I'm, I, I I see a man. Mm-hmm. I think it's a man. Okay, very good. <clears throat> Is there anything significant in this scene? Anything else significant? Anything that happens here? Hmm. Somebody. What happened? I feel like there were when we, we when we slowed down the horses when we came into the forest. That there was a some a kid that was. On the standing on the ground there. I don't know if they came with us and got off the horse or mm-hmm. they were already there. It's a girl. What's happening with her? Somebody ran by. Somebody ran by and picked her up and kept running. So they took her? Yeah. How is that making you feel now? I'm panicking. Mm-hmm. I'm racing after her. But he's moving through the trees. Tell me everything that happens. When I'm, I'm racing after him, he's the way he's moving through the trees is it's hard for me to race. To go too fast, mm-hmm. I'm going. And the boy, the the kid, is still with me on the other horse. I told him to wait back there. Wait back there. So I'm, he gets to like this little camp area, and there's a bunch of other guys there. What happens? 
my mind tells me that there's nothing I can do. <laughs> but I don't care. Something in me wants to wants to get keep going. So I I don't, I don't care. I get off of the horse. <laughs> They're kind of like look, looking at me, like hey, you're gonna, you're gonna come, you're gonna come over here. <sighs> I'm kind of reluctant when I get off the horse because I'm thinking like, like I can't fight the guys. How many are there? I say like seven. Mm -hmm. What do they look They're like? They're rough. They look rough and dirty. Mm -hmm. They have on like their clothing is kind of oldish, mm -hmm. like raggedy. There, are some of them were eating and sitting down. Some of them. But, all right. Okay. So what they happens? get up. Some of they get up because mm -hmm. they think I'm gonna, I'm coming towards them, and I, I can't, I can't fight them. Where is the child? They, one of them is the guy who took her, still holding her. She's, gonna, she's screaming. She's trying to get them off of her. Get him off. Get like, get, get him off. I jump back on my horse and I'm out. I'm going back to the castle to tell them. I meet the boy on the way out of the forest. I get to the castle. They can tell that, I'm, that something happened. The people who work there and stuff. I tell them we have to go to the forest now. They took her. I go get the weapons. I go get a sword. I go get a sword. And the other workers ran to go tell who they had to tell so I can get help. The boy wants to come back he can't come back somebody somebody's leaving him somewhere in the castle mm -hmm. the guys are coming from the castle now i'm already on my horse what happens now I'm already on my horse. I'm racing there. I'm trying to go back before they leave because they know I'm going to get someone. People. And the guys, like the knights and guards behind me, they're, they're like, which way? Which way? I don't even want to answer them. Just follow me. <sighs> they're following me. I get into to the forest, it's kind of quiet. I slow down so I can hear. So, they, it's quiet. I know that they, that they're at, at somewhere at a distance, but they're, they're leaving. Mm -hmm. They're leaving. They're trying to get all their stuff and leave. Somebody, somebody from behind me on my side. They break, come up behind me from the side and get me off of the horse. Kind of 
almost like a tackle or like a and they came from behind the horse but grabbed me I'm off who grabbed you? it's a big guy he's bald nasty teeth he's one of them? yeah yeah he's big I'm on the floor. I'm, I'm on my back when I'm looking at him. He's looking at me. The guys come, the other guys, the guards get there. He hops on my horse and he's, he's trying to leave. One goes after him, another one grabs me by my hand and pulls me on his horse too. And we go after him. And I have my sword again. And I want to get him. The guy whose horse I'm on, we have a thing. <laughs> mm-hmm. going after them. It's hard. It's hard because we can't really see them. We can't see them at all, but we have an idea of which direction they're going. And then we have the other guy who just took off, too. The guy who tried to tackle him. Who tried to... Who took me off the horse. We're going after him. Now what happens? I feel like we're getting closer. We can't see the other guy anymore. Who we were chasing after. He's mm -hmm. gone? Yeah, he kind of got out of our view. But we're still... We know what direction they're going. We know. We're getting... They were waiting for us. They were waiting for us behind... Uh, like a, bush, a bunch of trees and bushes. And... There's a... We're fighting. <laughs> We're fighting. <sighs> and one of them has still has a girl. <laughs> he has a knife to her. trying to get to her but I'm fighting other people too what's happening okay and we're fighting people we're fighting them we're, we're fighting with our swords mm -hmm. I'm pretty good Mm -hmm. To be fighting the guys, I'm pretty good. Then <laughs> we'll have one. After I fight one guy, there's the big guy. The guy that I have a thing with another night, he's helping me. He's helping me. He takes over. I just run to the girl. And then I kind of stop because he has a night. Yeah, he, he's 
do he's doing the whole if you get closer I'll kill her kind of thing mm -hmm. I'm trying to think what, what, what do I do someone comes up someone comes up behind him one of the knights <laughs> they kill him how do they kill him? they slit his throat from behind him and the girl quickly gets up she runs to me we're gonna take her hand and we run on a horse because they're still fighting what now? now we're going to the castle one of them tries to follow us but he gets on one the other guy one of the others one of the guys who tried to take her and get on a horse and try to follow but I'm too fast. We're too quick. And we're out. We're out of the forest. We get back to the castle. How do you feel? I'm happy. They're happy. One's happy. They're, everyone's happy. She goes, her mother, her mother and father there. Her mother smacks me. I shouldn't have had them out there. She said I shouldn't have had them out there. My father's just kind of giving me a stern look. They're happy she's back. Mm -hmm. They're happy, but they don't like that I t didn't like that we were out there. Who are her mother and father? mother she's she's really beautiful I don't know who she is she has had on red mm -hmm. long red something on her the father has he has on a he has on a armor mm -hmm. but I Something about him looks funny in that armor. Like he wasn't supposed to, like he doesn't really wear it, but maybe he put it on because he heard what happened. Mm -hmm. <sighs> and I got back in time so he didn't have to go out. Do they, does this man, her father, work for, for the one in the castle? Yeah, yeah, he's older too. Mm -hmm. He's older, he's, he's like late. 50s. Mm -hmm. um, he has a mustache. He reminds me of. He reminds me of like the Monopoly Man, but with mm -hmm. black hair. Yes. Black hair. He has very thick eyebrows. Dark, 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 dark black hair. Mm -hmm. Do you recognize him or the woman? Look into their eyes. I think, I think she's an old friend of mine. Mm -hmm. Her name, name is Nayeli. Very good. Is there anything else from that scene that's important? <coughs> no, no, I don't think so. I All think right. I'm just sad now because I got. <laughs> I got smacked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know I shouldn't have had them out there. I felt that they were, I was being a little uh, almost almost rebellious, but just free. I like the children. I want the children to be free. Mm -hmm. I like them. Yeah. So let's close that scene. Now let's move to another important scene of that same lifetime when something is impacting your life. Where are you? I'm in my hut, like a hut. Mm -hmm. 
in like my little house shack thing out by the pastures away from the castle how old do you feel there hmm 18 mm-hmm. maybe 19 or 20 but i think 18 mm-hmm. those guys came back they found me or a couple of them what's happening They have me bound. What what did they bind you with? Like um like a brown rope. Mm-hmm. Or it's like hay colored. Mm-hmm. Your hands? And my hands and my feet. Mm-hmm. They're in my house when they're they're talking. What are they saying? I feel like they're talking about what they're going to do to me. One wants to do ransom. One wants to ransom with somebody at the castle. Mm -hmm. The other one wants to rape me the big guy the big mm-hmm. guy wants to he wants to ransom me mm-hmm. he wants to take me for ransom another little creepy guy in the back that's the one that wants to, wants to do other stuff to me mm-hmm. <sighs> I think I'm scared but I'm not too scared I don't know why I'm not too scared I feel kind of like mentally strong, like you can do what you want to me. Nothing you can do is too bad to me. It's nothing I can't get through. So what happened? Kind of waiting still. The big guy, like a big guy, took me. He threw me on his shoulder, and he got on his horse. <laughs> he laid me. He laid me on my stomach on the horse while I, while I was bound. He took off. Mm-hmm. What are you feeling while you're there? I think he's nuts. Mm -hmm. I think he's nuts. He smacked my butt when the horse took off, which is weird. I don't know what's going on with these people. He's going towards the castle. He's going towards the castle with me. Okay. Are you saying anything to him? No, I feel like I can't talk. Like there's something on my mouth. And he's he gets there. He's he's moving cautiously. It made no sense why he would take me. If it's for ransom, he should have left me. But I think he didn't want the other guy to do anything with me. Really, he didn't trust me. He didn't trust leaving me there. I don't think he trusts the other guy at all. So he took me, but they can see him coming with me and I'm bound. Who do you see? There's guys at the top of the castle. 
and there's someone there are people kind of like around the castle well it's just like regular day people just walking by and like this guy comes big guy comes in with me on a horse one of the guys from the top of the castle they shoot him with an arrow I don't understand why he did it but he did it oh it's the guy the guy who I used to who I was with before that night he's, he was, he's the one who shot him from on top of the castle What happens now? I'm waiting for someone to come and get me off the horse mm -hmm. or unbow me or something. Passers by, they're not doing anything. They suck. So I'll do it myself. I slide off the horse, I fall, and then take my bound hands from there in the back but I slide uh, I kind of put my legs under I put my hands under my legs to move my hands from behind my back to the front mm -hmm. and once I do that I'm on the floor <laughs> my <laughs> does anyone want anyone come to help you? Oh yeah, people are coming, but um, the guy who, the guy who I was dating is coming down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, my, my um, my dress is all up. I don't care. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't care. People are seeing my undies, but I'm like, I'm getting this rope off. I get the, I get the rope off, and he comes down, and he brings, he takes me up into the castle. He's like, I gotta, I, I can't live out there by myself. I shouldn't mm -hmm. live out there. I tell him about the other guy who's still there. So he goes. What happened? <sighs> he tells me that I have to stay in the castle. He doesn't want me going back. He said I should live there or buy there or something. Something has to do with him. He's going to get my stuff mm -hmm. from the house. I tell him about the other guy. He's going. But How does that make you feel? <sighs> Makes me feel well. At first I feel okay. I feel safe. I feel like he's protecting me, but he goes to the castle. He, I mean, he goes to my shack. There's more of them there now. They kill him. <sighs> I feel like I don't have anybody. I feel like he was the person who was protecting me. He's gone. <laughs> Allow all those feelings to come out. Don't hold it in. <laughs> I feel like it was my fault. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cause he was always trying to protect me. And he tried to die trying to help me. Mm -hmm. So what emotions are you feeling right now? <sighs> Do you feel guilt? No, I just feel... Oh, 
alone. Mm-hmm. I'm guilty. You know, people around me. I think I feel like it's my fault too. Mm-hmm. The people who work there. <sighs> I can't stay in that castle. I have to go. So let's find out what you do next. Close that scene and let's see where you go. It's the next significant event in your life. I'm relaxed. I have a family. Mm -hmm. The guy kind of reminds me of of the other one, the night. Look in his eyes, do you see anyone that you know there? Do you recognize his soul? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. He looks familiar, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. How do you feel in that, in your life now? I'm happy. I'm relaxed. I have my family. Mm -hmm. I don't have to really worry about much. I don't have to work. I just stay with the kids and stay in the neighborhood. I'm relaxed. I'm happy about this life. Mm-hmm. Very good. So now let's leave close that scene. Let's go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. And tell me where you are. In a bed. My hair looks darker. I'm older. How old do you feel there? Seventy, maybe sixty. Mm-hmm. My kids are there. One of them has their hand on my chest. He's sitting with me. Mm-hmm. They're all there. He's telling me how much he loves me. Mm-hmm. What are you feeling inside? What emotions are you feeling? I'm sad. Mm-hmm. I know they love me. I love them too. Tell me why you're sad. Because I have to leave them. Mm-hmm. I know. I know I'm, I'm going soon. Mm-hmm. Huntsman is really sad. He's really sad. It's hard for him. What is the reason why you're leaving now? Do you have an illness? Yeah, I'm sick. Mm-hmm. I'm sick. I don't know what I have. I keep coughing. Mm-hmm. So let's take the last breath of your life in that lifetime. And transition out of that body. See yourself leaving that body. And tell me what you do next after you leave your body. What are the thoughts going through your head? To your mind? I'm watching them. I'm watching them. Watch me, my body. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about now being on the other side? Light. Mm-hmm. Light, but I didn't. Not all the way light yet. Mm-hmm. Just watching them. So fast forward through that scene and let's see where you, what happens to you.
Where do you go? What do you do? Mm. Where do you go? Um, go into a light mm -hmm. cluster. A light cluster? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we come part of the cluster. It's like a, a bunch of light. Different. Different lights. Mm -hmm. right? oh, it's all one light. How do you feel in that light? Free, mm -hmm. blissful, and really light, like a just it's like a soft, it's like a soft feeling. Mm -hmm. Let's see if anybody greets you. Mm. It's a lady. Mm -hmm. What does she look like? A small lady. She's small. I feel like I've dreamt about her before. Mm-hmm. Ask her who she is. She says she's my guide. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ask her guide what her name is. I'm getting getting Josanne. Josanne? Jos yeah. Josanne. Josanne? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So let's see where Josanne takes you. Well, she takes me to the other family and then I say hi, but then we go off somewhere else mm -hmm. really fast. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel fast, but it looks fast. We go up or out. Where are you going up from? What does this place look like? I feel like we're in space. Mm. So yeah. Let's ask Josanne where she's taking you. She's taking me to see the other family. What do they look like? Oh. I think of somebody that looks like Earth. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Similar. It's not Earth? I don't think so. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. The people there, they're humanoid, but mm -hmm. they look different. I feel like they're kind of like light blue. They're light blue? Yes. Mm -hmm. And they were waiting for me. They're happy to see me. How are they dressed? White. See someone in white. They have a white. Oh, like white gray. Mm hmm. How many are there? Seven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Seven of them, and they're there to greet me. They're happy. Are they male or female? It's maybe three male. And there are women, a couple of women, and someone who's a little younger. Mm-hmm. So what do they say to you? Connect with them mind to mind. They're like, 
How was it? How was it? They're curious. What do you tell them? It was hard. There's a lot of love. They're proud of me. Josanne's just, she's in the back, kind of just, <laughs> it reminds me of like, um, when you go to someone's graduation, you're kind of proud of them. Mm -hmm. You just kind of stand in the back, like, mm. she's kind of proud. She's just watching us unite. Mm -hmm. They're thankful for her too. They tell her thank you. Who are these beings? Are they your family? Yeah, they're my family. Mm -hmm. Do you look like them? Right now, I feel like I'm... Me and Josanne are still in, like, spirit. So. Mm -hmm. Like energy form or something. Yes. But they're physical. Mm -hmm. so let's find out more about what happens on this place. What do they tell you? They're they they they're growing things. They're growing things. Yeah. What do they grow? I don't know, it's like, a, it's something that seems like, it reminds me of like a plasma, maybe, mm -hmm. but whatever it is, it's to, it's to help, and even help Earth. To help Earth? Yeah. Mm hmm Tell me about this. They're taking me to something to show me one. I don't know. It might be energy. Mm-hmm. It might be energy. What color is this energy? Bluish purple. Mm-hmm. Bluish purple. Let's find out what this energy is supposed to do. <sighs> to send out, like, waves or energy. It sends out energy mm -hmm. to our, to that planet, and it's, it goes out to Earth, too. Mm -hmm. What do you have to do with this group of people? I think, I think I help invent it. You invented it? Yeah, so I, I helped it come into being. Mm -hmm. So why did you choose the life of that woman? In that castle. It'll come to you. Use your knowing. I think I have to feel more earth. Mm -hmm. I have to get, I have to feel more, I have to experience earth again mm -hmm. more so I can help earth more mm -hmm. with the energy, the thing that I made. The mm -hmm. thing that I can help come to be. Mm -hmm. Does that energy do anything to Earth? <laughs> calibrate. I don't know. I think calibrate. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's helping it. Very good. It's helping it. Make it lighter. Mm -hmm. Is Earth very heavy now? lighter now than it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's lighter now than it was. Very good. So now let's 
close that scene and let's go to the scene when you were deciding to come back to Earth as Brianna. I want you to be at that scene. Tell me where you are. Me and someone else. Mm -hmm. Where are you? We are in like a it's a room. There's a lot of there's some people who are there mm -hmm. in front of us. They're in chairs in there. These people are in chairs in front of you? Yeah. What they, kind of a room is this? It reminds me of like Supreme Court kind of mm. kind of feel. Everything is kind of everything is blue. Mm hmm Bluish. And who are these people that are there? Are they judging you? They are not judging me so much, but um, they're helping me to choose mm -hmm. what to do, what will do, what I will do next, and tell them what I want to do. Mm -hmm. So what do and you tell? Help me make it happen. Help me do it. So what is it that you want to do next? I have to go back to Earth. Mm -hmm. And what will you be accomplishing in the life of Brianna? What's the purpose? What have you chosen as your mission? She has to help the people around her to raise their vibration mm -hmm. and be them be themselves and see themselves. She helps people see themselves. Mm -hmm. How is she doing now that she's in this life? Is she fulfilling her purpose? She's trying, yes. Mm -hmm. She knows where she has to go. Mm -hmm. She knows who she has to be, who she is. Did she come into this life of Brianna with a lot of, of that knowledge already? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, she she has a hard time. She had a hard time. Mm -hmm. Being being sure of herself. Mm -hmm. What did she choose the family she came into? They've been together for a while. Mm -hmm. They. They get together a lot. This time they got together. Were they? Uh huh. They work well together. They work they, well. They balance well off of each other. But she seems to have had a life where, growing up, where she kind of kept herself isolated from the others. Did she do that on purpose? Yes and no. Okay. Other people don't, they don't get her. Mm -hmm. It's hard for her to be herself sometimes because people don't get it. But she, she, she did it too because she knew. She, she's trying to see what the hell is going on here. Mm -hmm. she's, and she protects herself. 
because if she if she was too open, she could get she could get lost in other stuff. Mm-hmm. She protected herself, and she went through what she had to go through to learn, so that way she can help. Mm-hmm. How is it that she's supposed to be helping in her life? For example, career-wise, is she supposed to be doing anything in particular? She, she's an artist. She's an artist. So should she be focusing on her art? Yes. Mm-hmm. She she has to do it. In, she has a way. Mm-hmm. How is it that she's going to fulfill her purpose through this art? I'm not gonna have to use the bathroom. All right. So I'm going to now touch your shoulder, and that'll be your indication to open your eyes. You'll remain in this trance, and when you come back, you'll be back in the same exact place, being able to go down even deeper than you are now. We were talking about her career and how she was able, how should she be able to use her art to fulfill the purpose that she came here. Is this what she's going to be using for her art? For her her purpose? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does she already know? She knows. She knows. Very good. So, can I request that her guide assist her with that? Josanne? And to get other guides that are specialists with art? Can I ask for that on her behalf? Yeah. Very good. Thank you. She wants to know why she's so forgetful. What's going on there? She's not. Not being physically aware of everything when, she, when she's in her mind. Okay. And she's thinking deeply. Mm-hmm. Or she's thinking lots of things all the time. She can't keep track of every single thought. So she kind of loses where she is physically? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's always she's losing physical things a mm-hmm. lot. Mm-hmm. But that's because her mind moves quickly. She's moving quickly. So, does she need to have all of this memory intact, or is she okay with losing or forgetting? As she as she grows. She learns more as she, as she becomes more her. Mm-hmm. As she goes with her more with her flow, and as she merges the left of both sides. She will be able to keep track. Okay. It would be new, it would just come with it. So the people who are forgetful, are they spending more of their time in the part of the mind that's the imagination? Is that it? Yeah. They just Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they that's know. where she's been. Yeah. Does she need to remember all this stuff? 
Which stuff? Whatever it is that she's forgetting. <sighs> the people around her think that she does because they think they do. Mm, okay. They impose this on her. But, but she knows that she's on the right track. Okay. And there's something much bigger. Much bigger in the picture than some of these small physical things. But as she goes on, she will be able, she will remember everything. And she's not she's in both her mind and in her mind and both aware of the body at the same time or she she will be more aware of the things that she her mind tells her to do with her physical body. Mm -hmm. She will remember these things more. Good, good. She says that a few years back she took some magic mushrooms and she fell in love and rece received a lot of uh, information. What was the significance of that with this person that she was with? She had to be reassured mm -hmm. that she was on the right track and, uh, and they the mushrooms uh, made her more sensitive to energy she was more sensitive and aware so everything that she was learning about and everything she was coming to to know, to learn, to know, she was realizing, she was becoming. She became what she was learning. Mm -hmm. So she knew it was real. Okay. Well, she also says that anytime she thinks about something, it happens. <laughs> Why is that? Are those her powers? Yeah, she's manifesting that a lot lately. Mm -hmm. She's becoming more aware. She's consciously manifesting. So she has to be careful. What are the gut feelings? What do they mean? They've been very strong. Healing helps her to. This is how. She feels things around her and mm. she can feel things before they ha before they happen but th this feeling this feeling how can she use that meditate mm -hmm. she knows she has to do what she does today Okay, so once she starts meditating, she'll be able to hone in on this and be able to use these skills better? Yes, she'll mm. be able to know what her body's saying. She'll know what her body's trying to tell her, what her body's showing her. Right now, she's very young. Her body's telling her things, and she's noticing now. So now, she has to make her mind, she has to get every, all of her, she has to kind of match everything up. Mm. Who's helping her with this? Chosen in her higher self. Mm -hmm. she, 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 she's, she 
she works with Archangel Michael. Mm-hmm. And Michael Allah. Mm-hmm. But Joseph is helping her to hone in on this with the with small things too. Mm-hmm. So that way she she'll know you know with other things. Why was it that she was led to uh, breatharianism? Seems like something changed in her when she started studying it. She changed her vibration. Mm -hmm. This new information broke many programs she she realized she came out of many programs with this information was it meant for her to stop eating or just meant for her to change the vibration so far it's just the vibratory change but mm-hmm. the frequencies you know, she's 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 still, she doesn't know if she wants to do it because she loves food. She loves food. <laughs> she loves food. Mm-hmm. She loves food. So, she knows she can do it because she's already experienced it. But she has to prepare for what the world around her, for what people may, how people may perceive and treat her when they find out that she doesn't eat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, she's already lost quite a few friends and acquaintances because of the change in her thoughts. Yeah, she can't be around she can't be around some people anymore. Some people are just too slow. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. They're just not moving at her speed. She needs to find people more like her. She has to find people like her because she she starts feeling alone and mm-hmm. she feels like she can't talk to anybody. She has she has people out there like her. Mm-hmm. She just has to uh, ground herself and be firm. Mm-hmm. And what her beliefs are. Well, when you said that people can't keep up with her, she had just had that life where she was on that horse, dashing through the forest and racing, and she loved to race. Is that life impacting her now in any way? Yeah. What did you show her that life? She she is she's childlike, Mm -hmm. but she she's also the protector of children. She had to know, she had to see again that she is, she is the protector, she is the protector of children. Is that why she came into this life, where she had to, to care for her sisters? Protect yeah, them? Yeah, they have a lot, of, but they're going to do some things, too. Mm. They need they needed her to, to oppose mm-hmm. the programs 
that they were being born into, and that people were being born into. So all of them are... Uh... There, she's showing them. She's showing them. Mm -hmm. So that way they can do it. Very good. That life where she, where you showed her, where was this? Was this on Earth? The first life, yes. Yes, what year was that in? I think in the 1500s. Mm -hmm. Was it a particular country that we know of now? Around Wales? Around Wales. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Yeah. Why is it that she um, is sweat so much? What's going on with her body? Energy. Energy. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell her what that energy is. She has. She has bursts of energy. Hmm. And her nervous system and her bo her body's keep trying to keep up. Her body's keeping up. And that's why she sweats a lot. It's like a Her body heats up. Her body heats up. Mm -hmm. And it needs a way to let go of that heat? Yeah. Okay. Her body's reacting to that, to the heat. Mm -hmm. She... She can... She, 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 she wants... She wants to know how come... How come it comes randomly and then... Mm -hmm. How come she can just have the idea and then she's immediately sweating profusely but mm -hmm. then a few seconds because she's she controls her energy mm -hmm. and she has to learn she has to learn how to control it will meditation help with that yes okay good so she needs to focus on meditating now yes good good is she going to be meeting her soulmate anytime soon <laughs> <laughs> I think she knows that she is. She is. Yeah, she's been calling him for a while. She's been. This is why she think it's why she moves through relationships very uh, frivolous relationships very mm -hmm. quickly because she's learning what very quickly what she will or will not have and what she does or does not deserve and the same for others. When, not to know when. She's learning. She's just, she's learning. She's learning. She's preparing for him. Good, good. How long is it going to take for her to find him? Could be this week. Mm, okay. <laughs> she asked if she should be moving somewhere. She... Does New York have the right red vibration for her sometimes mm -hmm. sometimes but she needs she needs space mm -hmm. she wants to <sighs> she likes the city she doesn't mind the city Just every once in a while she needs something fast paced mm -hmm. she likes people but she she needs space she wants a like a barn. Mm -hmm. Like where she used to live before. Is yeah. that what she's longing for? I think so. To yeah. be out in the pasture? Yep. By herself? Animals. She loves horses. She likes animals. So that's why she's kind of still nostalgic about that life? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, she wants a little bit of it here too. Yeah, <laughs> will she be able to have that? I think she will, she will have it in time. Mm -hmm. She's going to try some other things. She's going to try some other things. She wants to she wants to travel and explore and, mm -hmm. and uh, she wants to travel a lot. So she she would have to. I think she wants to do that first, and then 
then she will solidify a uh, open space for her to go back to. Mm-hmm. Is there uh, any coincidence that she grew up in horse country in Florida? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that's so funny. It's so funny. It's so funny. She's, yeah. pretty, she's a pretty good manifester, isn't she? <sighs> Manifested a life around horses. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she, I don't think she really knows how much she likes them. Yeah. <laughs> now she understands that? Yes, and she will she will be able to connect with them. Good. She likes she wants to communicate with animals. Mm-hmm. She will. She will. I told her she her she she vibrates on a higher frequency. Mm-hmm. She will. She will understand the animals more. Would it be beneficial for her to ride horses? <sighs> Perhaps ask for the soul of her old horse? Yeah. She feels free. Yes. It's very free. Mm-hmm. It's very free. It's um, almost, almost like being a bird. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. One time she said that she was receiving synchronicities about a beach in Thailand. She saw it in one movie, then she saw it somewhere else, and then there was another thing. What was going on with Thailand? She's going to go there. Mm-hmm. And she will meet someone or some people that this this would be a very good group for her this is where she will uh, she, she will meet more of her soul family mm, okay will this trip to Thailand be soon or in the future this this is gonna be in her future. Maybe maybe a year, two mm-hmm. one to five years. Okay, good. So you're gonna put that in the in the back shelf there and it'll manifest when it's time? Yes. Okay. Would you do a uh, body scan on her please and let's see what's going on with her body? Do you see? Her, st- her stomach. What's going on with her stomach? She likes, she likes greasy food. Greasy food. Okay. <laughs> she stopped eating meat, but she still likes greasy food. Mm. She, she, she has to go with her own flow. Okay. She'll, she'll make the changes. She'll make the changes. Okay. Huh. Hmm. What else do you see? There's something on her her wrist. Her wrist. What is that? Is that some sort of a shadow there? I think so. Mm -hmm. Would you allow me to speak with this shadow today? Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Which wrist is it? The left or the right? 
All right. Very good. So let me take my hand and bring it up. Up, 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 up. Good afternoon. You can express yourself mm. now. What are you doing in her wrist? I have nowhere else to go. You have nowhere else to go. Are you male or female? Female. Female. What's your name? Ashley. Ashley. How long have you been there, Ashley? Oh, some, some time ago. Mm -hmm. Some time. What attracted you to her? Well, she was having a good time. Uh-huh. And you wanted to have a good time? I guess. Uh -huh. How old are you, Ashley? Fifteen. Mm -hmm. What happened to your body? I can't remember. Mm. Have you been have you been out of a body for a long time, Ashley? I think so. Mm -hmm. What year is it for you? In the fifteen hundreds. Fifteen hundreds. Mm-hmm. Ashley, did you attach to this woman in a different lifetime? <sighs> yeah. You've been following her all along? Yeah. Who were you in that life to her? Somebody who lived not too far from her. Uh-huh. And why her? Because, I mean, she... She seems to be... She seems to get through everything. Mm-hmm. And you didn't get through anything? No. I didn't... I didn't do much. Mm-hmm. I didn't do much. People didn't really like me like that. Uh huh. And when this woman was in that lifetime, what was her name in that lifetime? I think it was, I think it was like Ramona. Ramona. So, what is it that you liked about Ramona's life? People liked her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She got along with people, and, and she knew people. And, and you didn't, Ashley? Well, yeah, I had to learn. Um, I had too much you know, crap going on myself. Mm -hmm. to, to always be nice and have people be nice back. Ashley, think back at that life. How did you lose your life? Did you die naturally or did you take your life? I drank poison. Mm. I drank poison and I was mad that I did that. Mm -hmm. I wanted to stay. She was close. So what have you been causing Brianna all this time? While you've been with her, what symptoms does she feel from you? Hi. What have you done to her? She... I give her pain every once in a while. Mm -hmm. What kind of pain do you give her? Like stomach pain. Mm -hmm. And her, by her like bladder, mm -hmm. or like her womb, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. She can handle it. Do you affect her relationships at all? Yes. In what way? Well, I, she deals with guys sometimes that she knows aren't good for her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is this a way to get back to her? Yeah. Yeah, she had that guy. Mm-hmm. He was always going to do everything for her. Who was he to you? 
I liked him first. Mm. Mm-hmm. So you felt she she took him away from you? She did, but she didn't really. She didn't really have to try. Mm-hmm. Why was that? Was she beautiful? You didn't yeah, feel you were. She, I mean, I was pretty, but she was she was pretty too. But she. It was easy for her to be kind. Mm-hmm. It was easy for people to like her. She didn't really have to make people do anything. It just people. So Ashley, there's people that I'm sure would want to see you again. People when you go back home. Are you ready to go back home? Okay. Ashley, before you go, I'm sure you have a very heavy heart. Would you like me to give you that, take that pain Mm -hmm. from you? Ah, that heaviness. I'm going to put my hand on your chest. Give me all of that pain that you've been holding of not being good enough, of not being enough. Having to live off of someone else's joy. Give it all to me. You don't need that weight anymore in your heart. Tell me when I have it all. Okay. Alright, I'm going to take that and send it to the universe for healing, Ashley. What would you like to put in that space instead? Love. Alright, let's put lots of love in there. Feel that love going in for yourself, for others. Love has no boundaries. Unconditional love from the divine. Feel the Creator's love inside of you, from your head to your toes. Feel it filling every bit of you. And tell me when I have filled it all up. You want to squeeze all that in there. All right, I'm going to tap your forehead and seal Uh, that in so that you can't go away. So, are you ready to leave now? Yeah. All right, I'm going to ask the angels of the white light to come and surround you, Ashley. I want you to go ahead and start pulling all of your energy out of her body. Pull it out of her wrist, out of any other areas where you're affecting. I'd like for you to go through the crown of her head. And straight up to the light, the angels will accompany you, and Archangel Michael will deliver you right to that light. And tell me if there is anybody there that greets you, Ashley. My family. Very good. Thank you very much, Ashley. May the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you. And let me speak with the higher self. Now, what is going on with her back? What's causing Mm -hmm. the back issues? Well, her back is sensitive, but Mm -hmm. when growing up, she was always, you know, she didn't really, she didn't sit up straight. She Mm -hmm. didn't, she didn't, she didn't believe. She didn't believe in herself. Mm-hmm. Now she says she came in with scoliosis. Is that true? Yes. What was the origin of that? Where did that come from? Show her a picture of where that came from. Did that come from this lifetime? Did it come from her mother? Her father? Another life? She had this. See, she, she had to have this dish for this lifetime. Mm-hmm. It's for this lifetime. She chose this? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And what's the, what's the usage of this? What is, what is the reason she chose to bring? This discomfort in her back into this life. She. This this helps her to. 
almost like makes her want to be more mm. more healthy too mm. and more in alignment she 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 she's a can she heal herself oh, yeah mm -hmm. is she ready to heal herself today yeah sure. all right so can the higher self begin the healing process and i'd like to ask archangel raphael to use his light and let's begin the process now and tell her what it is that you're using using a, a light beam it's like a blue a light blue almost light light beam it's going from over her body straight down the middle all the way down down her spine and what does that do for her what is that doing that light Lightening the mold a little bit. Mm -hmm. And she's. It's clearing a little bit. It's clearing. It's gonna lighten the mold. It's gonna clear. Clear up what's going on there. <sighs> she knows she can do this. Mm -hmm. She's done it before. It's white, and it's white now. We're using white. Mm -hmm. Really good. Yeah. Very good. It's going to keep doing. It's going to be like this for a little bit. Very good. So I'd like to ask on her behalf to continue working on her, especially at night when she's sleeping, so that she can continue to heal. And would you see if there's any other um, issues in her body that we need to take care of? She would particularly want to know about her chakras and if there's any other hitchhikers that need to go home. We're gonna we'll line her up. We're gonna line up her chakras. You gotta line up her chakras? Yeah, we're gonna make them. We're gonna balance them for her. Thank you. We'll be doing that for some time. Very good. We're gonna do it now. Thank you. And while you're doing the, the aura, I'd like for you to also check her, um, I mean the chakras, I'd like for you to check her aura. Make sure there's no leaks in her aura. she has any implants that should not be there to dissolve those implants I'd like to ask the divine realm to continue working with her while she sleeps with her with her assistance in the astral plane to tweak up her body in the best way possible And would you tell me what it is, what reason it was that you brought her here today, all the way from Brooklyn? She, she has to Can't be afraid of being herself. Mm -hmm. This is something that she didn't tell me. The people she knows not everyone will understand, but she she can't be afraid to be her, regardless of other people. 
because the more she is herself unapologetic, unapologetically, the more other people, the more she brings that into other people's reality. Because mm. then she is that. She is that. She's in a room and she's speaking on something that somebody doesn't agree with. But she, she understands they don't agree with it. And she's okay, but she agrees with it. That is her. She lets them know that. Once they, 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 them being around that, them observing that, they, people need someone, people need people, other people to show them themselves. Like a mirror, you mean? Yes. Mm -hmm. She's breaking programs. She's, she's pushing through the programs that she was born into, the things, these programs that were given to her. She points them out, and she, she finds them inside of her, and she she does her thing. She does her own thing. She does what's right for her. She needs people to see it. People have to see that. People have to be around it. People have to be around it. People have to be around it, so that way they can do the same. That way they can see those programs um, themselves. Mm -hmm. She's going to use her art for this. She's going to use her art for this. She's she's also going to do something very good for the children. She knows what they need. She knows how children how they perceive how they perceive things early on. Good. Is that, is that plasma machine from her planet between lives being used on Earth right now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does she have anything to do with that? Yes. Yes, she... She is still connected to it. She's connected to it. She's connected to it. It is bringing... There are others who are connected to it, too. Are there others from her from her planet, her home planet here, on this Earth right now? Yes. Using that plasma machine? The energy, I mean? Yes. So what is the significance of it? What's it going to be used for? They're, they're using it, it's, it's a connection to the energy there on, on that planet. Mm -hmm. they, they use it almost like a calib calibration machine or, or, or it is helping them match their energy, their frequency to, to to that of that other planet is it just their for home planet they use it they bring it they bring it here they uh, there's that energy exists here too but they're magnifying it okay they're magnifying it and they're spreading it and there are beings around the earth who who are not in the earth but they also use that hmm. they also they're it's almost like a if you ever have a, a magnifying glass mm -hmm. and you and you point it at a from the sun to the to a carpet so you know how the carpet starts to burn yes it's the same thing she's she's at like the magnifying glass mm -hmm. so she's helping calibrate the energy of the earth of Gaia yes mm -hmm. very she good. loves her very good. Is there anything else that could I could have asked that I didn't ask that you would like to tell her? Yes, give me one second. We 
we love her. We're doing good. We're doing good. She's on the right path. She must. She knows. She knows what she has to do. Mm -hmm. She knows. She knows. She just. She's on the right path. Wonderful. Is there anything else that you would like to add at this time? Or are we complete? We thank you. We thank you, Abba. Thank you. Thank you for being here today and helping this beautiful woman, this beautiful soul, on her journey. I know she's really going to appreciate it. <laughs> Welcome back. How do you feel? That was great. Amazing, huh? Yeah. It was like a full featured film. Yeah. Yeah, it's really intense. Mm -hmm. I kept trying to kept trying to tell myself, no, that's <laughs> it's not what happened. That's not what happened. Like, oh no, you're. I I knew, I knew. It was, was amazing, huh? Yeah. How do you feel physically? I feel Good. lighter. Feel lighter. Yeah, I feel lighter. I feel lighter. My head feels warm. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Is this something you want to keep private or you want to share some of this? Share it. Share it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> okay. All right, we're here. We're here. We're here. <laughs> so, how far did you travel for this, Brianna? Uh, I came from Brooklyn, New York. Uh -huh. So, I came from pretty far. And why did you come here? <laughs> because, well... Um, I was watching them on YouTube. I watched a lot of the videos on YouTube. Yeah. This I felt like this was something that I needed to do, and I was just I don't know. It's like magnet kind of thing, you know? <laughs> yeah, like inside magnet. joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you were drawn to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely. Uh -huh. Definitely. I'm so glad I got. And here. so, how did it feel like to be in hypnosis? Mm. You were really, yeah, very, I, very I let detailed. Go. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so what, I'm like that. I'm like that. I think. So what was thing. your what was your <laughs> trick to letting go? What did you do to let go and be so? It's like fluid. It's it's it just it's like accepting accepting and without second guessing. Mm -hmm. I mean, you you're, you're gonna second guess. Yeah. But when you'll know yourself, you'll see yourself. It's being aware of the second guessing. Once you see yourself questioning something, you just say, "Okay, I questioned it." You just, I'll qu I'll finish the questions after. That just leaves just like a, <laughs> just let it go. Just let everything roll out, and everything just started to. I began to see more, and things you just start seeing more. Observe it, it was yeah, uh huh yeah it was intense, especially the um. When they took the girl. Yeah. Yeah, that was. I like I I almost didn't want it to happen. I was trying to tell myself that didn't. Happen. I put this here. Yeah. Uh huh. I was telling myself that didn't happen. That's not what's happening. That's not what's happening. But it's exact. That's what happened. Yeah. I just had to say it, and um. And it was pretty emotional. I mean, you were feeling it. Yeah, because that's been one of my fears. Like, because I have I have three younger sisters, you know, and I I see myself as it's like their big sister slash second parent. Mm -hmm. It's like one of my greatest fears is that someone will take someone them. takes them. Yes, and now you know where that came from. So we were talking before this session that sometimes you come here with questions, but during the session there's there's answers given to you to questions that you didn't even ask. Mm -hmm. And this happens to be one of them. Why did I always have that fear mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. one of my sisters would be taken mm -hmm. and now she, she understands where that came from. You understand? Yeah. So yeah. you had that always in your mind. I'm sure as you listen to the recording and go over this, you may find more things like this. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh, that was so intense. So it, the, question, like in, the question again, in hypnosis, push. did you feel that you were here? Did you feel yeah. you were somewhere else? Tell, tell, tell everybody how, you, how it felt. It, the, okay. It's like it's. The daydream thing, it's, it's literally exactly, it's exactly like a daydream, except mm -hmm. you, you become, um, you're, you're detailed. You're so, you're so focused on the daydream. You're not focused on everything. You know, everything else is going on, mm -hmm. but 
you're focused on the daydream. The more focused you want a daydream, the more, the more details you begin to notice, sounds, emotions begin to come in and all of this stuff. And mm-hmm. You just start going with the flow. Like it's like an accepting. You just accept mm-hmm. what, accept what comes to you or what comes through you. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people who have been in hypnosis, uh, brush it off of saying, I just made the whole thing up. That, and that's so easy to do. But then what mm-hmm. is, what is your experience? Mm-hmm. What are, what are you looking at? at yes. the end? What are you living? If you're not making that up to, right. You know? So, so a lot of people who have gone purpose. into hypnosis, hypnosis have been hypnotized, but they have dismissed it as making it all up. And, and, uh, what I do is we do go through a lot of talking to explain what hypnosis is and isn't before the session so that my clients get a really good idea of mm-hmm. what it's going to be like or not going to be like. So, um, if you're still saying I'm making it all up, you have to dismiss it and just go along with your daydream. So do you recommend this experience? Oh my people? gosh. hundred percent. 100%. 100%. 100%. So if you would like to come here 100%, oh, yeah. um, go to my website, albawyman.com. Yes. I also travel all over. And uh, to know where I'm going to be going to next, just go to my website, albawyman.com. Go to the out of town page. And on the bottom of the page, there is uh, a way for you to subscribe to my newsletter. I do put out my newsletter all over the world to where I'm going to be going to next. So if there's a city near you, sign up really, really fast. Okay, until the next time, I, uh, I'm glad that you're watching these and hopefully you're, you're learning a lot from them. And we'll see each other hopefully soon. Bye, guys. Bye. Oh, my God, thank you so much.